Delicious and healthy. Fresh and safe. Today, washoku or Japanese cuisine has become popular throughout the world. Thanks to its popularity, many people overseas are now enjoying Japanese food ingredients, including wagyu, seafood, and fruit. Hotate, Japanese scallops in particular, were by far the most popular product last year. So, why have Japanese scallops become so famous overseas? This program sets out on a journey to discover the secret behind this popularity. Japanese scallops are not just cultivated, but they embody the effort and passion of the local people. I can really just see how much love and care is put into Japanese scallops. At the end of the journey, we'll also try making a traditional dish. That's wonderful. Thank you. We will focus on the background behind the deliciousness of Japanese scallops. The Tokyo Metropolis. Shizuka Anderson from Canada sets out on a journey in pursuit of scallops. She came to Japan, her mother's home country, at the age of 18. What a huge fish market. She now lives in Japan, promoting the charms of Japanese foods and ingredients around the world. Toyosu Market is one of the biggest seafood markets in the world. It is popular among tourists who come to see the tuna auctions. Oh, hi. Hi. Nice to meet you. This is the first place to visit to gain a better understanding of Japanese cuisine. Yanagihara Naoyuki is the culinary researcher who will be her guide. He not only runs his own cooking classes, but also promotes Japanese foods and ingredients around the world as a Japanese cuisine goodwill ambassador. They visit a long-established broker, founded 80 years ago. Every morning, experts evaluate and sort the delivered seafood before it is sold to retailers and restaurants. Wild what a beautiful fish! Yes, three point eyes and gill and also surface. It's uh, good for the the house. Uh, you can choice good fish. It's so it's really really fresh. Really really fresh. Mansion. Like apartment. Oh, oh it is. Oh, you're right. It is like, like an apartment. apartment. Oh my goodness. This is, ah, no, fish don't get scared. Hey. Oh, I've never seen this style of keeping a fish before. So, many types of concentrate, concentrate to in this market, then they separate it to the world and also in the, around Japan. Oh, Hong Kong, uh, Taiwan, uh, Malaysia, Singapore. Mm -hmm. Oh, really? あ、いや、ですね、リーナイ。おそでですモーサイズバッティンジャパニーズワンクオリティーズイズビガーベリーベリービッグワンリーリー結構海外でも売ってます。これは手に入ればね、もう本当いろんな料理できると思う。日本
You know, I might have to do that then. Yeah, sure. I want to see where they make the, the actual hotates. Yeah, yeah. Oh, this is amazing. And I'll get to try the real fresh one in Hokkaido. Yes. yes. <laughs> Shizuka embarks on a journey to Hokkaido in search of new discoveries. I am at the airport now and I'm about to go to Hokkaido to learn all about scallops. Let's go! About 1,000 kilometers north of Tokyo, she visits Tokoro Town in Kitami City of northeastern Hokkaido, facing the Sea of Okhotsk. I've just arrived in the Tokorocho region of Kitami City here in Hokkaido Prefecture and I'm really, really excited to see what I can learn about scallops here today. And it looks like they're doing something over there, so I'm going to go check it out. Let's go. Surrounded by forest and the ocean, the town is blessed with a wealth of nature. Tokoro River carries minerals from the forest out to sea. The town is renowned for the pack ice that drifts ashore in winter. Shizuka finds a popular sushi restaurant in town where you can enjoy locally cultivated scallops. Konnichiwa! She orders nigiri sushi of fresh summer scallops that are in season. <gasps> oh! Really, really fresh scallops. You can see how shiny and meaty they are. The Sea of Okhotsk is one of Japan's biggest scallop producing regions. Tokoro Town, in particular, boasts one of the biggest halls in Japan. To the northwest of the town is Lake Saroma the biggest lake in Hokkaido. Here, they cultivate young scallops. Scallops are bivalves that are about 20 centimeters across when fully grown. In Japan, they inhabit sandy areas in relatively cooler regions, such as Tohoku and Hokkaido. They have a large adductor muscle in the center, which is usually what's eaten. They are cultivated in the Sea of Okhotsk by scattering young scallops on the seabed. Their mussels grow bigger with a richer taste because they are free to move around like wild scallops. It's just after 3 a.m. and 16 fishing boats head out at once for the scallop beds. They arrive about 20 minutes after leaving port and immediately begin dredging. Scallop fishing involves dragging a net with metal claws at the front along the seabed. The claws dig up the sand and scallops, which are collected by the net. This procedure is repeated over and over. The net also contains damaged scallops and natural predators, such as starfish, so the catch is sorted carefully. Increasing yields within the limited time available requires expertise to instantly identify high-quality scallops. On this day, they have to return to port by 10.30 a.m. The unusually hot summer this year meant they have to finish earlier to ensure the health of crew members and the freshness of the scallops. Trucks are waiting at port to transport the catch to factories. 
This emphasizes the commitment to maintaining freshness without wasting any time. Scallop fishing in Japan revolves around day trip operations to nearby locations, allowing everything from processing to freezing to be carried out quickly, maintaining freshness. Shizuka asks Soma Osamu, in charge of fishing management, about the condition of this year's scallops. Here, the adductor muscles are being removed from the shells of harvested scallops to freeze them. They are opened one at a time, and the muscles are separated. One scallop takes about three seconds to process. This is another secret to their freshness. The removed muscle is immediately passed through a tunnel freezer for rapid refrigeration. They are sorted by size and packed into boxes. The Tokoro Fisheries Cooperative Association also meets the requirements for exporting to the EU, which has extremely strict hygiene standards. Scallops were first found along the coast of the Sea of Okhotsk in the early 1900s. Full-scale fishing began in 1912 in Tokoro town. However, overfishing eventually reduced catches and a time came when scallop fishing could no longer sustain people's livelihoods. It is against this backdrop that the cooperative has been promoting initiatives for its members to manage this resource. One such initiative is the division of fishing zones. Sustainability has been achieved through the annual rotation of four areas for releasing young scallops and harvesting them. Young scallops are cultivated for a year in the adjacent Lake Saroma. They are then scattered throughout the zone designated for that year. Four years later, they are harvested, making it possible to fish in a different zone each year. This is how fishing in Tokoro transitioned to cultivation. In pursuit of encounters unique to Tokoro, the town of Scallops, the first place Shizuka discovered was the fish market. From fresh seafood to dried and frozen foods, a variety of products are sold here. No way, scallop curry. For a seafood ramen lover, this would be really, really good. Their specialty is the seafood barbecue. Anything you buy can be grilled and eaten on the spot. Next, she visits a pottery shop. 
food is not the only thing Tokoro has to offer. これ Oh, it's kind of uh, it's kind of easy, but I think to make it look really nice, it takes a little bit more technique than I have. But not bad. I'm glad I got to try. The powdered scallop shell used for the pack ice pattern is made from the shells collected in huge quantities during scallop processing. The scallop shells are crushed and used as lime for soil improvement and in fertilizers on farms. Next, Shizuka heads to a forest deep in the mountains, recommended by the president of the cooperative. The trees grow in a straight line. Wow. I wonder if it's a man-made forest. There's a sign here. Mori wa umi no koibito, kawa wa nakodo. What an interesting sign. This forest was grown by people involved in the fishing industry. In the 1960s, during Japan's period of rapid economic growth, urbanization led to environmental pollution, and this also affected coastal fisheries in Tokoro. The Tokoro Fisheries Cooperative Association began buying nearby mountain properties around 1961 to reforest them in an effort to preserve the Tokoro River's environment. The wives of fishermen were the first to take action. Shizuka wanted to know the meaning behind the sign she saw in the forest and decided to ask a member of the women's department. お父さんたちは海で働くから、その海の環境を整えるために女性部はその綺麗な海にしようということで食事をしたり、岸壁清掃などして、将来的に私たちの代じゃなくて、子供とか孫とかの代、そこを考えましょうっていうことで、ホタ
粒がちっちゃかったから<笑>おなんか混ぜた方がいいかなと思ったんですけどこれは普通に炒めて醤油味だけどバターで炒めて塩コショウを振って食べたら洋風になりますわそれもすごい美味しそうですね<笑>このあの旅でいろんなホタテのあのお料理をいただいたのでちょっと家でも挑戦してみたいと思います<笑> The last thing she came across was. これで冷凍されてるんですかそうです、えー、とじゃあ飛行機乗っても全然大丈夫です大丈夫ですやったーじゃあこれをお土産にしようかな<笑> I think I'm gonna bring one back for 柳原先生 I think he's gonna like this、はい、ありがとうございますお土産ゲット<笑>ありがとうございました<笑> Shizuka returns to Tokyo and goes to share her Hokkaido experience with Yanagihara. Hi! Hello! I'm back from Hokkaido! Yes, I wait for you! <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. how was it? It was amazing! Wow. Hokkaido is so beautiful and I learned so much about Hokkaido scallops. Wow! <laughs> so, where is it in Hokkaido? I went to a place called Tokoro. Tokoro region in yeah, Kitami yeah. city. Actually, very famous.、Yeah. And I didn't want you to feel left out, so I brought、okay. you a special souvenir. For me? Yes. <laughs> What is this? Take a look. Yep. Oops. Ah. What is this? They're scallop manju. Oh,、wow, yummy tsuki manju. Yes. Make it warm, yeah? Maybe. Yeah. yeah.、Okay. Do you want to eat it now? Yeah, sure. But actually, I'm, now I'm cooking, then I prepare the streamer now. Oh my so... goodness. <laughs> Let's <laughs> do it then. <laughs> Let's eat now. Dekita yo. Wow. I will check inside first. Let's take a look. Yep. <gasps> wow. Oh. It smells so good. Hotate.、Mm -hmm. Oh, one. Okay. Yum. Itadakimasu. Oh, hot. Hot. Oh. 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 And onions. onions.、Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, there's a really nice. Also, did you bring some、uh, scalp itself? Of course, I did. I've got some really good frozen Hokkaido scallops for you. Great. So, today I make something for you. <gasps> really?、Yes. I make Japanese, traditional Japanese <gasps> cooking、That's、for、amazing. you. That's amazing. Oh, I love that. Yes. Can I try as well? Can I try、sure. to make it? Why not? Oh, I'm so excited. Okay, okay let's, let's, make, let's、yes. do some cooking. Yes, I prepare now. <laughs> let's make washik for o l Oh, what's this phrase? <laughs> That,、uh, this, this is my catchphrase、uh, for teaching Japanese cooking in foreign country. Oh, wow. Yeah, so can you say it together? Yeah, let's、okay. say it together, okay? Washoku for all. all. They're now going to make hotate yose tamagoam, or pressed egg soup with scallops. The traditional Japanese dish has been arranged for easy preparation. These are all the ingredients I use. That's it!、Yes. Wow! Not so much, yep. Very simple ingredients,、mm -hmm. but you can make a really good dish. Yeah, today、uh, I, I make the Japanese style, but、uh, if you want, you can use some、uh, chicken stock, and beef stock, whatever you like. Yeah. Oh, that's amazing! So you can adjust the recipe depending on where you are、yes. in the world. Just you need a scallop. All you need is scallops? <laughs> okay, <laughs> very easy! Yeah. <laughs> First, the thawed scallops are marinated. Then cut into one centimeter pieces. Condiments are added to well beaten eggs and mixed. Then the scallops are added. This is my technique. Okay. okay I will show you.、Right. Some make tomato.、Ooh. Boiled water is stirred and the scallop mixture is poured into it to blanch it. Easy to heat all the eggs. 
The mixture is filtered through cloth, then divided into smaller portions onto paper towels in small vessels to shape them. So I'll put this in here. And you want to completely fill the cup, right? Yes. Okay. Broth is made from bonito flakes and kombu kelp, then seasoned with soy sauce and salt. The egg, boiled mushrooms, and snow peas are placed in a bowl, and hot broth is poured over everything. Last, the bowl is garnished with thinly sliced chives to complete the dish. Okay, this one is my cooking. Yose tamago one. Wow. Blessed eggs with scallops. With scallops? Yes. Yeah. It looks amazing. Thank you. Ciao, ciao. Oh, that's gorgeous. <laughs> Thank you. What beautiful presentation. I love how simple yet artistic the presentation is. It's like a Japanese art. That's yes. gorgeous. This is uh, very colorful. And yes. maybe I try to find out like a, um, an end of summer and the, and the autumn season. And I imagine then I make a garnishing and some, I make a dish. That's yeah. beautiful. That's wonderful. Thank you. Wonderful. <laughs> I've never had a dish like this before. The egg is not too strongly flavored. Not hard, right? Yeah. It's fluffy. So fluffy. It's like a cloud almost. <laughs> it's so good. I hope so. And uh, please enjoy the Japanese ingredients. Yes. Yeah. And washoku for all, right? Yes, washoku for all. That's my cat's copy. <laughs> That's right. You remember it. <laughs> I remember it. <laughs> yes. So hopefully everybody all over the world can try making some wonderfully easy but delicious yes. washoku like this. That's my hope. That's why I, my, that my cat's copy. Washoku for yes. all. It was really awe-inspiring to see the hard work and the, and the love that they put into preserving the longevity of scallops so that people can enjoy them for generations and generations to come. This journey revealed that the passion of the local people and their efforts to achieve sustainability are behind the deliciousness of Japanese scallops. You too can enjoy Japanese scallops in a variety of dishes.